All right, welcome back to Nomadic Wandering Star. And this is where we're at at this point in time. I've got the bottom panel off on the front. And we're going to start seeing how bad this is. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's not pretty. Yeah. Oh. Gonna be shits and giggles all the way around. But anyway, what I did here, well, I took the door off, you see that, but not this door. I took screws out from about here all the way around. And then I used a scraper to get in there and pry it loose so I could pull the panel out. <clears throat> now that I got the panel out, I want to cry. No, it's not that bad, really. Uh, going to fix her up and everything. Now, when I do go to put the panel back in, I am taking the door out because, as you can see, this 20-year-old butyl, it just ain't going to make it. And I don't really feel like caulking again, so we'll go ahead and hey, you can see it cracking and peeling away in places. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, definitely get busy on this. And uh, it's getting late in the afternoon, so we're going to put that door back on and uh, call it a day. Stay tuned for more improve for more information. Okay, with the door off and stuff, they put carpeting in here, but only halfway in. So, see, looks like they put it down with liquid nails or something that peel this up. But if I can get the edges up, then I can get in there and use a screw gun and pull them screws that are right there out. And of course, they're probably all down along there too. So that'll get that out of there. And then it just becomes garbage. All right, and off we go. Well, this is what was buried underneath that one piece of wood. And shits and giggles. But it only goes up in there. Well, I'm not really sure just yet. And might be able to save some of it up in there. I hope I can. I don't want to jack the whole front end up. But if I have to, that's what we have to do. I'm going to get some tile in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyway, off to the next part. <coughs> well, you've seen the passenger side. Welcome to the driver's side. My God, it's going to take some work, but it'll be worth it in the long run. What we're going to do is when I get all this out of here, yeah, I'm going to replace this whole piece, one sheet of 4x8 plywood. I ain't going to mess with it. I'm going to tear it all out. I'm going to have to pull the bed and stuff out the inside. Uh, these wires go through. The, these wires go through the wood, so I'm gonna have to do that. Maybe I just might get away with notching it. I don't know. We'll see. There should be a bar up here on the front. Yeah, that just sits on, and there he is. So that'll help. So you can see by the bolt here, the way it's sitting, I don't know if you can see that, it's at an angle, which means <laughs> the whole front of the trailer's probably shifted over. Why not? But for the most part, in here is pretty good. A little bit of a sag, but that's to be expected over time. I can go ahead and maybe add a brace or two in here, beef it up a little bit. I got some two by twos, so it won't take much to do it. We're going to get her done. Yeah. yeah, well, it is what it is. And I ain't real happy with it, but yeah, should have paid more attention to, to it, I guess. Hindsight's 2020. But then again, cutting the whole, taking the whole bed and stuff out. Replace it with a 4x8 sheet. It's going to beef the front end up like a fat rat. You can tell it's been bouncing because if you let me show you this out here, the top of the box here is busted up. 
from this bouncing up and down. So once I get it in, I gotta be taking that off here and uh, take it off. I take this off here. Might as well go ahead and take it all the way up, take it off, and rebutyl re tape it. So, yeah, we're in for fun and games, boys and girls. But that's why I would say I make the big bucks, but hell, I'm retired. <laughs> all right, off and off. There we go. All right, so now the real fun begins. I could probably get away. I know I don't want to, <clears throat> but it's about a four by sheet, four by eight sheet in here. And you can see that it's pretty soft still. So I'm going back six feet. We're taking six feet and replacing it. And then uh, <coughs> if I have to, I'll go down along the edges with some uh, other stuff I have. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bad shape. It is what it is when you throw home. So, got to take it apart, take it out. I'll run the saw down along that seam right there. Pull that up. Replace that one board there. And that's going to be my base for starting with measurements. And, uh, all right, as you can see, we got good wood, you know, over there. Replacing the top one, that's gone. We're gonna just that one is coming out the same with over here on this wall, it's coming out. This one's coming out to about here, it's in good shape. That one, oh, probably to about there, those two are secured. That one to about there, scab them in. And we'll be good. I'm going to take all this insulation out, get rid of it, and uh, just do some cleanup right now. And then uh, I'll get to where I can cut that one out over there. I just took the heater out, and it looks pretty good where the heater was. It's not in bad shape. So uh, we'll be good there. I am going to take them where it's rolled up. And push it down and staple it. It's just, it is what it is, but oh well. And uh, we get her going. So right now it's a cleanup uh, board. There is for uh, <laughs> well, if you've done it before, you know it's for standing on while you're doing something. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we're moving right along. Sorry if I sound a little distracted because I am and uh, hopefully hopefully it'll work out all right off we go all right so we got everything scabbed in insulations in place and uh, we're gonna throw some plywood in now if you're wondering about the edges I'm gonna put them in last because in the bathroom I did them first and I made the plywood going in a bitch so uh, hopefully this will be easier. Alright, so the floor is in. And then we're got to do the two outside pieces of wood. And uh, don't make the mistake I did. I could have swore it was three quarter inch plywood and that's what I bought and I'm 150 miles from where I bought it <coughs> and I had to use it so there's a lot of work but it's definitely going to be worth it. I'm going to staple this lip down here and uh, cover them holes up, put the heater back in and we'll sleep on the floor again tonight. Thank y'all and uh, stay tuned for more as we go. All right, all right. I did a video when I did both sides, and I don't know what happened. It, it pixelated. I lost the whole video. But anyway, if you go back to the bathroom one, you'll see in this area here, there's a two by three stretches all the way down to the wheel well, all the way down to here. 
On the other side, I took the heater out and this door off, fixed it. I replaced the well. You've seen the floor in the, in the uh, bedroom. Replaced that, and then I popped them in. And I did the same thing over here. Now, what I did was, um, I think somewhere in here is a brace, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of them. There's two or three braces in there. And what I did was, I took a two by three. I tried to twist them in like this, and that didn't work. So what I did do is, I took a two by three and twisted it in this way and drove it in a little bit and cut it off and then I drove it in a little farther and that opened it up enough to get the 2x3 in because it was actually about a half inch difference once I got that in it was easy peasy putting it in then right in the corner there is a brace now here's another problem I've run into lucky me is the whole trailer has shifted this way by about a half inch or three quarters of an inch and that's what's causing this so I have no idea what I'm going to do about that. Uh, I may get a piece of metal put over it and, and call it good. I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting really frustrated with it, but that's the way things are. But what it is right now is that it's ready to go. Everything is safe. Pulled the door out, replaced all of that. Now there's a brace here for the steps. But it also has a carriage bolt that comes down through the top and you put a nut on it. Unfortunately, this wall stud that goes all the way up here is on top of that carriage bolt. So instead of removing the wood, I'm going to put I put a lag bolt in from the bottom. And it's probably about three and a half inches long. Drilled the whole underside seriously, lock washer, and I actually put some Loctite on it. If it'll do any good in wood, I don't know. And then I'll be putting the steps back on in the next day. And we just went down and bought carpeting. So we'll have an episode of uh, carpeting the bedroom. And then putting the bed back in because the wife is real tired of sleeping on the floor. And I'm getting tired of being yelled at. But anyway, it is what it is. So thank you very much. We appreciate you watching. And a uh, little piece of advice. Check the wood around the edges of any trailer you're going to buy. We, uh, <laughs> we learned from our mistake and it's cost us a chunk, but a not bad chunk. And... Uh, it's not a chunk I wanted to spend. So uh, hopefully everything will get better. But now our home is solid. And that's what we wanted. So you all take care. And we'll see you next time. We'll, get it, we'll talk to you when we start putting the floor and the bed back in. Thank you. All right, well, the bed is in. We have a carpeting in. Looking pretty good, actually. Uh, Got to get a piece of threshold, but not a problem. Get the mattress in. Put carpeting there. Carpeting there. So, uh, yeah, we're looking uh, pretty awesome. We appreciate you hanging with us. We'll talk to you later. Don't forget, subscribe. Give us a like. And uh, leave a comment and tell your friends. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the old floor right there. So, uh, y'all take care. Thank you.